Another special situation having to do with distributed queries is if you need to have a transaction, meaning a logical unit of work, that depends upon writing to two different servers at the same time. And SQL Server will handle that. And there's a caveat I need to warn you about, and that is that the transaction will not be able to complete unless both servers are up and running. So this is not like transaction replication where a transaction is simply being replicated or sent to the second server. This is within the transaction itself. Let me show you how it works. So on the local machine, I'm going to use family. You have to set transact abort on. And what this means is that whenever there's going to be a problem, it's going to roll it back. We'll talk about logical transactions in more detail in a future lesson. But basically, a transaction is when we need to have multiple sets of work that either complete or don't complete as one single atomic unit. Normally, you begin a transaction by saying begin transaction or begin trans. But here, we're going to say begin distributed transaction. So SQL Server knows it has to pass this through the distributed transaction controller. And we'll see that in a few seconds as well. So the first update updates on the local machine. Just update person. We're using family. We're logged into the local machine. The second update is going to use the four-part name to go over to the second instance, and then the family database over there. And we want to change person ID's last name to Johnson in both databases. So execute this. But before we execute it, I want to open up the distributed transaction controller monitor where we can see these distributed transactions. In management, it's listed so we can see it's running. But you can't double click or open it up here at all. We have to open it up through the control panel. So open the menu. So control panel, administrative tools, Component Services, Drilling In, here's the Distributed Transaction Controller. Right now there's one transaction that has happened when I tested this a few moments ago. Come back. Execute our Distributed Transaction. It was successful. Go back here, and now we see we have two total transactions that have taken place. And this demonstrates one of the powers of SQL Server, the fact that you're not limited to only working within your one database. But you can connect to and work with all sorts of other databases, lots of other types of data, Excel, Access, XML, although we didn't talk about that here in this query, Oracle, other SQL servers. This is a very powerful, cool thing to do to be able to connect together and link up distributed queries.